What's up guys? Ben here. Uh, first I want to say thank you to everybody with all the support. We've been getting a lot of coverage here lately. Talk about a national championship win. So it was awesome. I was really happy to bring that back to the community. So one of the things that I talked about in some of my interviews was being objective. And what a, objective results, and that's why I like Strongman, is it's, it's not so subjective. And just gonna kind of want to go over what that means and how that really translates to our training and how I can help other people with that. So when we talk about objective versus subjective, so subjective would be more of your feelings, thoughts, anything that's not physical, or metaphysical ideas of things. So that might include like, I feel fat. I feel like I'm out of shape. I don't like the way that I look. I don't, I feel old. A lot of these things that we don't have maybe a set number or one thing to point towards, it is still important, you know, because these are real feelings. But when we're trying to achieve fitness, we need to have some wins. You need. You need to see a success so your body gets this kind of dopamine and these good feelings and that sets up good habits. So waiting for our feelings to catch up uh, may prevent you from starting to build a rhythm. So we like to use objective numbers. So objective would be like, I see an improvement in this specific number. It would be something like the scale. Scale doesn't always do what we want it to do and there's a lot of factors that play into that. So we use other objective numbers to show people they're getting results. So for instance, if someone came in and said, I want to get bigger arms, then we might use your chin-ups and dips. So we'll say chin-ups, chin-up, and dip. And we're gonna figure out where exactly you're at. So maybe day one, they get three, and dips, they get eight, okay? So if someone wants bigger arms, then I'm gonna try to take that number and turn it to 10, and this one to 25. Because somebody that can do 10 chin-ups and 25 dips probably has pretty good arms. So that's a great way to do this. And we would just build a training program around chin-ups and dips. And every time the number goes up, we get this positive feedback that it's working and that helps us to build these habits. So say for, you know, that's an easy one. Maybe we're gonna go for weight loss. And, and instead of just using the scale, but we have that, we have our scale weight. We could also do a 10 minute bike. So our scale number isn't our only number we're doing. So maybe our goal is to lose 20 pounds. But in the process, you know, a 10 minute bike, you might only get 2.5 miles. We're gonna develop a program to improve that bike time. All of that work that we're gonna put in is also gonna facilitate the weight loss goal. But then say after a month, you're like, I really don't feel like I'm losing any weight. But we take that and we turn that into three miles. Okay, I'm, I'm getting better at using fat for energy because that's aerobic training. Um, I, my heart rate's improving, uh, it's dropping at night, so I'm sleeping better, I'm feeling better, and then maybe next month we get 3.5. If we can get someone up to a, a four miles in 10 minute bike, you know, I, gar I can almost guarantee every time they've already started dropping weight, because it's hard to get better aerobically at fitness without losing body mass. So, if there's a, quite a bit of body mass to lose. So, so these are ways that we can use, you know, and also strength is a great number. I, hey, I wanna get stronger. Well, it's easy, as the weight goes up on the bar, we know that's a fact. So that's why you kind of see people who are more uh, participating in strength sports are more committed over the long term. And I think it's because they get some of this automatic feedback from these objective numbers and not this subjective feeling of how, how they're doing. So set up some numbers for you, see where you're at, pick whatever your goals and how you can attribute to it, and then use those numbers to gauge your success along with you know, maybe what the pants size are saying or whatever other things you've been using, but giving yourself some actual numbers to work off of makes these goals easier to stick to and you know you're actually going somewhere with them. So check back again, I keep posting videos. Hopefully we can double down and really increase our online presence and deliver more to you guys. So if you have anything you want me to go over, any questions, post them and I'll be happy to deliver some videos and at least share my experience with all these things with you.